What's up guys, back here with another video and I want to get my reaction to UFC 272 Kobe Covington versus Jorge Masvidal uh, Good entertaining fight uh, Main card was phenomenal as always, so was the prelims um, Yeah man, it was pretty interesting to say the least between uh, this fight And it went not different to what I thought, but it kind of went how I thought it would probably go um, For Kobe at least and uh, yeah, man, you guys know what's up. Before I get into it, make sure to please hit the subscribe button. And uh, let's dive right into this. So, like I said, Kobe um, and Masvidal were best friends or whatnot. Uh, both guys, you know, even cornered each other during their fights back in the days. You know, until, um, you know, a rift grew between both guys. And they uh, decided to, uh, you know, part ways and whatnot. You know, ended up getting really bad blood between the two. Um, you know, they wanted to fight each other after then. And um, Masvidal ended up, um, I mean, not Masvidal, excuse me. Kobe ended up leaving uh, American Top Team. Masvidal's with Top Team, you know, their home stable gym since then. And uh, both guys looked good the last time out, even though they both lost. Well, Kobe looked a little more better against Kamal Usman. I mean, he was he was doing pretty bad, and then he kind of got into himself in the later rounds of of their second fight. Masvidal ended up getting knocked out by uh, Kamal Usman, I think, in round two or whatnot. But uh, yeah, man, I would say this fight went exactly how I thought it would go for Kobe Covington. Kobe was gonna uh, the wrestling for Kobe was a hundred percent there and a hundred percent of the game plan that he had for the night against Jorge Masvidal, which is rightfully so, right? Um, Masvidal has really good, strong power. Um, he kind of, you know, his boxing, when he's on his boxing, it looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I didn't like from Masvidal today, besides the wrestling takedown defense, was, like, the head movement. My man has no head movement right now. And, like, I don't know, I feel like he got hit with a lot of stuff. And that's probably also because Kobe was doing a whole bunch of takedowns that, you know, after a while, you kind of, like, just freeze up and you're, you want to throw, but you don't really want to throw because you afraid of just getting taken down by a great wrestler as in uh, Kobe Covington is. Um, you know, and that's pretty much how this fight went from round one to five. Kobe strikes to get in, get the clinch, or go for a nice little takedown, singles, doubles. Uh, he, you know, he took the back of Mo um, Jorge a lot, especially up against the fence. But, um... You know, Masvidal had his moment, I, I believe, in round four. Um, he ended up hitting Mas, um, excuse me, Covington with a really good check hook. And it rocked him pretty bad. And I just feel like at that moment, like, maybe because he didn't have much in the gas tank or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, he just didn't really capitalize on Kobe Covington, especially when he was rocked like that. You know, he was rocked really, really bad. Um, ah. Uh, Man, and he didn't capitalize, and, you know, Kobe, once he regained uh, his focus, his, you know, equilibrium, got right back into the uh, takedown and trying to get the takedown on uh, Masvidal, you know, he was just working the takedowns over and over and over again, had great ground and pound when it was on the ground. Um, again, I, I thought that that's how the fight was going to go for Kobe. I didn't think he was going to sit there and strike with Jorge Masvidal. I mean, he looked pretty good against Masvidal striking-wise a little bit. But uh, I didn't think that he was just going to really just sit there and try to just go blow for blow for him like he did against Kamal Usman. And I, and I feel like it's so true. When you have two good, great wrestlers the way Kamal Usman and Kobe Covington is, they don't really... I mean, I would love to see them really try. I want to see Kobe do what he did to Masvidal and try to do it on Kamal Usman. Cause that, I want to see who's going to get tired, who's going to get the better of the exchange because that would be an amazing thing to see but this fight right here with uh, Masvidal um definitely was a freaking one side dominant fight for uh Kobe Covington congratulations to Kobe Covington and the victory you know all the antics of Kobe uh it doesn't affect me um I feel like I don't feel like he's really like that in real life as much I'm pretty sure he is a little bit but I don't feel like it's, you know, it's all talk and whatever. They don't really get, like each other, but I feel like it's all talk. Um, 
I want to know what you guys got in the comment section. Let me know down there in the comment section that who you have winning. And what do you guys thought of the fight? What was your, if you did get to see it, what was your um, thought on the fight? Man, if you liked the video, make sure to please throw a thumbs up. Share the video, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.